and welcome back to GBS Morning Extra. Today I'm joined in studio by Rokin Okoth. Rokin Okoth is a political analyst and commentator. And uh, Rokin here, <laughs> right before the break, uh, was giving us his definition of the word development. And he's really for the idea that we need to change. But of course, on a serious note, uh, right, we had the argument by David D uh, about uh, the approach that the government needs to take in terms of, uh, you know, uh, when they're doing investment or when they are doing development projects, considering the social fabric, considering the society, which I think is the same thing that you're saying, albeit you're just saying it in a more radical, radical way, <laughs> like we put it. I don't know if uh, <laughs> we have the bite by David D already, but looking at the situation in the coastal region, it only serves as a reminder to Kenyans on how we set our priorities. And uh, it's one thing that uh, I think there was a lot of criticism about the SGR project before it started, but the government still went on. And right now, as we see, even in parliament, there is that division on in terms of the implementation of the law that now demands that 100% of the freight go to the SGR and that people you know, importing products deal directly with the SGR and not with, with the truck drivers, which has cost a lot of stuff. And we've seen many young people uh, lose their jobs. Maybe your take on that as we wait for the uh, video. My take, and if it will be a recommendation mm -hmm. to the government, it will be that uh, they, will, uh, they should allow uh, a free market uh, policy. Mm -hmm. They should, in fact, come up with a policy in parliament mm -hmm whereby uh, this question of uh, containers and f uh, the question of uh, freight mm -hmm. at, the, at the coast mm -hmm. should be handled in a more market-friendly way, mm -hmm. whereby uh, even the, the locals can actually use that chance mm -hmm. to actually de develop, develop themselves, themselves yeah. to contribute to the economy of mm -hmm. the coast. Mm -hmm. Because if you actually give the monopoly of, 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 of all this to, to the SGR, it means that you are denying these people sure. a, a chance to not just earn a living, mm -hmm. but also to contribute meaningfully yeah. to, the to the economy of the economy coast the and the country. Uh -huh. So my, 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 my recommendation would be to, to come up with a policy as a country mm -hmm. uh, that uh, is a win-win situation, all right. whereby the people also benefit also from benefit. that. Yeah, and that, uh, one thing that also the governor, Joho, said, you know, the, the people who have been operating the transport for all these decades. We cannot overlook them. They've played a major role in terms yeah. of making sure that these uh, containers or this whatever is being brought in from the Mombasa port reaches to all parts of the country and even beyond the country, which mm -hmm. has been an honor of revenue to the country. Uh, as I said, because Rwandans came for their products here, Burundians, uh, you know, Congolese came from their products here. But b maybe before we contribute onto that, let's listen in from this bite by David Nee that I'm told is ready higher than the cost to the pub businesses as well as the cost to the public in terms of uh, government resources uh, by, of doing so by road. You have a constitution which states very clearly that uh, public resources uh, must be used to achieve equitable development. Uh, and, uh, you uh, the bite there by Devin Day, I think very important public resources must be used to ensure equitable distribution of the same resources to the public. Equitable devel development. Right now, the coastal region is complaining that business is taken, business that is coming in from their region in the coast is taken to inland Kenya. I want you to, 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 to actually make a distinction between these people making complaints mm -hmm. because they are not earning mm -hmm and them not making, not making complaints because they have SGR. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been saying. Mm -hmm. why, are they making co why are they complaining when they have SGR? Mm -hmm. It means that the software part of their life is being taken away. Mm -hmm. And now the definition of development has moved from the software part, mm -hmm. which is their socioeconomic Social livelihoods, livelihoods, to the hardware part, which is this SGR. And that's what I've been saying. Mm -hmm. Development is not about having physical infrastructure. Mm -hmm. It is about impacting mm -hmm. on the 
livelihoods of these people. Of these people. It's about making these people mm -hmm. uh, uh, innovative, making them actually productive, making them uh, able or capable of contributing meaningfully to the economy mm -hmm. of the state. Mm -hmm. That is the definition of development that we should only assume. Because if you claim that uh, they have SGR now, they are, they are developed, well, they complain. Mm -hmm. sure. It's because they, are, they feel like they are going to lose jobs, and unemployment is coming. And also, ac according to D, you know, you're taking this business from the coast, which, is, which was once a marginalized area, and you're now you want to shift it all to Naivasha, which is an area that has always enjoyed, <laughs> you know, uh, economic development and all that, and 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 that's I think is indeed makes a lot of sense. And if we had earlier, uh, Aisha Juma was making the same, you know, they're using the the coastal region to still also benefit themselves, which again divides the country. But maybe as we finish, Rokin, yeah. your like your final advice or contribution to the same in solving this problem what should be done or what would be your recommendation in terms of solving this problem you know first of all the question of, uh, of, of moving the port to Naivasha is neither here nor there, mm -hmm. or there because Naivasha the people living in Naivasha also deserve development mm -hmm like any other part of the country. Mm -hmm. They also deserve development. Uh, the, the benefits that the people in the coast have been gaining, mm -hmm. they'll also get in Naivasha. Mm -hmm. So we cannot say that we cannot maintain our stance in, 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 in Mombasa because, because, uh, because it is Mombasa. It is Mombasa yeah. However, mm -hmm. what I'm just trying to say is that, uh, is that uh, the SGR, much as uh, to some extent is going to ensure efficient mobility or movement of these goods and cargo yes. to the hinterlands of not just this country mm -hmm. but other parts of the uh, continent mm -hmm. but we should actually concentrate on the software of the people the socio-economic welfare of the people yes. the definition of development should be about the people it should never be about uh, helping other countries develop because you know as a country your role is actually to protect your citizenry yes. but uh, if we have a definition of development that empowers the foreigner more than the, more the, than the, the citizenry. Mm -hmm. It means that that definition of development is wrong. Mm -hmm. The premise of that definition, of, uh, that term is wrong. Mm -hmm. Let us have the, a premise that actually empowers the common person. Mm -hmm. Let us have a definition of development that addresses uh, health. Let us have the definition of development that addresses proper education and uh, uh, skills transferred to the, our people. Mm -hmm. Let us have the definition of development that actually uh, addresses the question of innovation mm -hmm. that, ad even, that even uh, involves the government going out of its way yes. to actually give grants, mm -hmm. give loans mm -hmm. to the local people without any mm -hmm. restrictions whatsoever mm -hmm. so that our people can actually produce. We need to be producers. Mm -hmm. That's the only mm -hmm. definition of development. China did not develop by being co a consumer. Mm -hmm. It closed its borders mm -hmm. for a while before actually opening their borders to the entire, to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, Cuba, Cuba has been, uh, has, has isolated itself from the international system for a very long time. Yes. Now it just opened its borders recently. Yes. After developing its industry, after mm -hmm. its people have, uh, are able to produce, now it can compete internationally well. Even you know, but then that giving, even the is, U.S. is giving is giving even the U.S. is giving a country like Cuba as an example to the same. Would you really want to justify that? Because we know the state of Cuba. My we know how Cuba has been. Yes, we know in uh, sectors like health, the Cuban government has really invested in its people, and we know we've got the, some of the best doctors from the same. And right now they're exporting that. Uh, we were, the other day we saw protests in Kenya about Cuban Cuban doctors coming into the country to do that. But then a country like Cuba, really, Rokin, you want to give I that am as happy, an example? I am happy that you talked about best doctors. Mm -hmm. Best doctors. doctors. Mm -hmm. And you recognize that. Mm -hmm. What do we have that we can say is best mm -hmm. service to the international system? Mm -hmm. And that's why, is it when corruption? I, that's why when I spoke... Is it under development? That's, Cuba? That's why when you talk about export trocane, and I was very clear mm. about this, can we make a very clear distinction when we talk about export? And uh, as opposed to when we try and talk against you know physical infrastructure 
I totally agree with you that it's not just, it's not all about physical infrastructure when we talk about development and, and so on and so forth. And that's why empowering, like you said, empowering the communities. But when we talk about this, let's talk about this physically because the whole idea is the main problem that we are facing right now is the issue of the SGR. I would really like to see a scenario or a situation where we are able to get goods from the, main, from the coast through the SGR to Nairobi and other parts. And then when the train is going back, we also have a car cargoes load, yes. loaded full of products going to the coast to go to other countries. That would be a valid argument. And if we argue in that perspective, I think it will be very important. Thank you for saying that yes. that would be, mm -hmm. would be, mm -hmm. but is not. Yes. You know, that is an ideal world that you every, I'm talking about. But, but it is, the reality is, mm -hmm. The situation on the ground is different. Mm -hmm. We are acting as a market, mm -hmm. and we are acting as a source of raw materials. Mm -hmm. My main, you know, I'm not opposing physical infrastructure, mm -hmm. and I'm not against infrastructure. Yes. Infrastructure plays a key role mm -hmm. in actually developing any country. Mm -hmm. As an individual, my views would be, as we talk about infrastructure, let us put 90% of our concentration mm -hmm to actually ensuring that our people become producers. Mm -hmm. Let us not invest so much to make our people consumers. Mm -hmm. Let us not put in place infrastructures that import phones. Mm -hmm. Let us not put in place infrastructure that imports vehicles. Mm -hmm. Let us not come up with a system that benefits the super rich. Mm -hmm. Even the hoi polois of this country, the poor, mm -hmm. the poor of the poor of this country pay taxes. Yes. And when I, I talk like this, I mean, the only way you can help these poor is not by creating a system that helps those ones who have cars. Mm -hmm. It's not by creating a system that helps those ones who have the means mm -hmm. to export, mm -hmm. to, to, to even, uh, to even uh, do business with the Chinese, mm -hmm. to even uh, be, be do business with the, with, with the Europeans, mm -hmm. to do business with the USA. Because a poor man cannot even sit on the table with the, with the, with the, with the Chinese mm -hmm to discuss about importation and exportation. Mm -hmm. What I'm talking uh, about <laughs> is... I think, Rokin, that should be a, a discussion, and I would really I'd lo love to had, have that kind of a discussion later. Maybe in the future we can do that. Because every time we talk about development, every time we talk about infrastructure in Kenya, there's always been the issue of Chinese you know, coming up. I cannot deny the fact that right now China is the single, I would say, biggest foreign direct investor in Kenya, where they're doing a lot of investment in Kenya. Actually, when you talk about trade between countries, there's no country outside there that is now, or continent that is doing more business with Africa than China. It, 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 outnum it, it overtook the United States, it overtook uh, America, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Europe at the same time. But uh, as we conclude, Rokin, yes. in, in very few words, your the conclusion of the matter yeah. and as i asked earlier you know if we <laughs> <laughs> if we start giving a lot of examples and going back into many the i'm talking about the case of mombasa at this time based on this study that was done by the university of nairobi just that as we finish your final remarks uh, mombasa the only way to help mombasa is to have a policy from the national level that will actually protect, because it is part of uh, you know the the, the legislature and uh, the Senate is mandated to defend the county yes. or developed units. Mm -hmm. They should actually ensure that they come up with a policy mm -hmm. that actually helps Mombasa County, uh, protects the Mombasa County economy, yes. and uh, ensure that uh, the SGR and the people of Mombasa benefit from this, 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 this issue of SGR and cargo. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we, we, we let us not make enemies out of development. Mm -hmm. Let us not make uh, unemployment out of development. Mm -hmm. Development should be about employment, mm -hmm. should be about empowerment, mm -hmm. should be about adding to the GDP of, uh, of, of, of the, the county and the nation. Mm -hmm. But if, if people are complaining and crying fall, that this thing is actually uh, laying them off, mm -hmm. is uh, leading to poverty. Mm -hmm. Then I wonder what definition of development is that? Mm -hmm. My definition of development will be that these people are happy. Because of the SGR, they are gaining mm -hmm. what this and th that. Mm -hmm. Because of SGR, their children are able also to sit uh, in better schools and learn. Yes. Because of this and that, they are able to acquire health, 
universal health care, and we have seen even the president of this country in the UN General Assembly talk about the question of health. That because of this and that, their children can also, you know, they can feel free as Kenyans to participate in the question of development. Yes. But if you lock out mm -hmm. uh, these people out of development, and you want to, to say that you are talking about development in terms of infrastructure, mm -hmm. then it means that you are getting it wrong. And I'm not opposed to infrastructure. Mm -hmm. I support infrastructure. <laughs> but at the right time, right. I support uh, empowerment in terms of infrastructure that actually talks about uh, removing the, raw the, the goods, the finished goods, not mm -hmm. raw materials. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not this business of removing <laughs> the oil from Kukana. Rocky Nakot, I gave you a few minutes yes, to do your conclusion. That is my definition of development. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I think Rokini is beginning another conversation. And uh, uh, thank you very much, Rokin, and uh, it's always a pleasure having you around. We, are, we have come to the end of this segment, and indeed, uh, according to Rokin Okot, the definition of development needs to be rethinked. And uh, uh, in the coastal region, uh, uh, indeed, it's something that the country needs to look at. I would buy also into Rokin's idea that legislation actually is very important at the national level so that we ensure that as much as we want to give to the SGR and also we remember and also think about the local community and how they've been doing this business. And we can make this gradual as we empower the communities, as Rokin is saying, uh, though I know it's, it's going to take a while before we are actually able to export uh, finished products out of the raw material that we have, but that I I everything happens at its time. Viewer, thank you very much for joining us. We'll end it here. My name is Timothy Omori. Do you have yourself a lovely day? Please do remember to keep the conversation going on our Twitter handle. That's at Kenya GBS. Our hashtag is GBS Morning Extra. For me, it's bye bye for now. Kevin Nyareki is up next with Sports Extra.